Hello everyone, today we got Toshiba laptop and the problem with this machine, it goes to the boot and then stuck on the Toshiba logo and it nothing does happen, okay. So I'm going to show you what is the problem. So let's turn it on as you can see, the charger is connected, let's press the power button, okay. All right. So there is no more improvement. If you keep pressing few functional key from F1 to F12, any one of them, sometimes it goes off. Otherwise, it does stay like that. So what would be the permanent solution? And what is the problem that uh, leads this computer to stuck like that? So we're going to find out. Okay. So let's press few buttons and check. I'm going to leave it a couple of seconds just to show you what is happening. So still there is no any improvement. Let's few press few buttons and see. As you can see now, it goes to the boot option. Otherwise, there is no. Yeah. Okay. So this is not a permanent solution. Even it goes. Okay. Let's turn it off and check a couple of times if same thing happen. Okay. Again, stuck on the Toshiba logo screen. Now, what would be the problem? So, first of all, I thought might be um, there is a possibility. I mean, few buttons might be stuck or not working properly. So, what I did, I disconnected. Okay, I disconnected once and tried. Same thing happened. So, that is a good option to try by disconnecting the laptop battery. I mean, so, uh, sorry, the laptop uh, keyboard, because if there is some button stuck, then this one made the system confuse from booting up normally, okay? So this procedure didn't work. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out the drive and try to turn on the machine, and if I see same thing happen, then obviously there is no issue with the hard drive as well. So let's try it and see what happens. So I'm going to leave the keyboard connected. Okay. Turn it off. Okay. And I'm going to disconnect the hard drive. By the way, this is Satellite Toshiba Satellite Pro L770. That's the model. As you can see here. Okay. So now we're going to try again and see if there is any improvement. See? Straight away it goes. Okay. So this is a positive sign. Might be the problem with the hard drive partition and stuff like that or maybe the hard drive is corrupted so let's turn it off again and try again just to make sure this is just not a luck you know not by fortune okay again good so this is asking there is no any boot device which is absolutely normal okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to take this hard drive and connected by the adapter, SATA adapter to USB, and then I will format the drive from the different Windows-based computer, and I will reinstall the system, and I will check if the problem is resolved or not. So stay with me. I'll show you what I do. Now I'm going to connect this internal hard drive in an external way to the different PC. And I will try to format it and check. Okay, so physically it's connected. And I can, yeah, 
the sound is normal there is no any click click noise and it, it does open up okay so let's open this PC all right so the Windows F drive as you can see here if you focus Windows F and the data both of them from this internal hard drive so what are you gonna do I don't have any important data so I'm gonna delete it but if you do have any important data in there make sure you do backup first before you do that otherwise completely you're gonna lose everything so what I'm gonna run I'm gonna run Asus Asus partition manager that's the one I would like to run so as you can see the disk number three okay so disk number three this one has two partition first of all disk one two three it's it shows there are three drives connected to the computer one of them disk is a one two this is my personal and this is the one external so this drive has two partition one is partition called f which is ntfs and the data also in same format so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete it one by one all right and then the data let me double check i don't <laughs> Mistakenly, I don't want to delete my own one. Okay, this is fine. So C, E is mine. Okay, so F is gone. And then G. So F is gone. I'm going to click on apply. And there is no issue. It is going normally. Okay, absolutely fine. Okay, fine. So then I'm going to do the G. Same thing, delete it. Click OK. Apply yes brilliant okay. That's right. okay so as you can see the drive this number three is already one second let's make it bigger so this is already been done what i'm going to do i'm going to format it i'm going to create a new partition ntfs and okay the file system is this okay apply fine <clears throat> and the hard drive noise is absolutely normal while i was doing it every single time that we do now it's made only one partition which is 465.36 gb it seems everything is fine now we're going to close it and disconnect it from the system okay eject fine safe to remote we disconnect take this thing to be fixed okay so let's close it flip it put the drive in there connect it put it back and Tighten the screw. Open it. This is the plastic bezel. Good. It's fine. Now, let's check what happened. Okay, so this is connected so we're going to turn on and check finally if there is any improvement so we're going to focus on the screen turn it on and then see what happened Okay, um, even I formatted the drive, but still same problem. Now, we have, before we gave up, we have one final chance. That is, 
to put different drive and check okay so I'm gonna take out I didn't find any fault on the drive because when I was formatting everything was fine the noise was absolutely brilliant there is no any click click noise and when I formatted the drive it did format it properly okay on the right time it was not even slow so now we're gonna change and check if I put the new drive in there is Windows program already in I take it out from another Toshiba okay slide in Now let's check finally what happened. Press the power button. See? Success. Okay, so finally we could say the hundred percent the problem was on the drive. Okay. The problem is unknown, I don't know what it is, but that is actually on the drive. Okay. I can't tell exactly un unless I use this one to the different PC to find out, but until now, we could say the problem was actually on the hard drive. So once again, the highlighted option, if your Windows-based laptop or PC gets stuck on the boot logo, I mean, if from Toshiba, it shows Toshiba then stuck, if from HP, then HP logo, whatever it is. And if it doesn't move, sometimes even the functional key doesn't work. Your first priority to take out, if possible, take out the keyboard first, disconnect it, I mean disconnect it and check. If it doesn't result, as you can see the Windows, Windows 7, absolutely fine, there is no issue. It's working brilliant, keyboard, everything is fine. Sorry. Anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's fine. Okay. So, what I wanted to say, disconnect the keyboard first and check. If it doesn't resolve the issue, take out the drive. And obviously, don't mess with your data. If you have data, back it up first and then format it. Then try again. If it doesn't help, change the drive. If you have any secondary drive, and turn it on. If you see any changes, 100% the problem is on the drive. So that is the solution for today. It does not matter if that is HP or whatever it is. Try this method. It would resolve the issue, hopefully. And if you know any better way or if you are failure, don't forget to leave a comment because I will try my best to reply as soon as possible within 24 to 48 hours. Do not forget to subscribe because that would inspire me to make more videos. Hopefully I will see you in the next video and bye for now. Thank you.